Today we're going to discuss these derivative shortcuts in finding derivatives of functions and at the end of this video I'm going to give you some practice problems to work on and I'd like you to write your answers in the comment section below. Let's get started. Okay. First we have this product rule. It tells us that the derivative of a product is equal to, in this case, it is a sum of two products here. And how do we get these products? Just take the derivative of one factor at a time. So for example, in this case, we take the derivative of g first. So you have there g prime of x. And then in the second product, we take the derivative of the first factor. And we can also write this uh, sum here as what? Okay, just interchanging the order of these two. Okay, so you have here, take the derivative of the first factor first, and then, take the derivative of the second factor. And I actually prefer this order for the derivative of the product because this will let us remember the quotient rule easily. Now, we can also extend this rule to derivative of a product of uh, three functions like uh, f times g and h. So we're using here prime notation for the derivative. So the derivative of this product, product of three functions, it's a sum of uh, three products and how do we get the products here? Just take again the derivative of one factor at a time. So we may take the derivative of the first factor first and then take the derivative of the second factor and then next take the derivative of the third factor. Next we have this rule here to find the derivative of a quotient. So the derivative of a quotient f of x over g of x is just equal to g of x times the derivative of the numerator f prime of x minus your numerator times the derivative of the denominator and then all over the square of the denominator. The way we memorize this formula when I was in college is using this uh, mnemonic. So we have here low d high minus high d low over low low where d means uh, derivative. This is not hard to remember because the numerator and denominator starts with low. So you just have to recite this probably uh, 10 times every day, so for a week, and then you can easily remember this uh, formula. So low, so this is like uh, high over low. So the derivative of high over low is low d high, low times derivative of high minus high times derivative of low over low low. Another way to remember this uh, quotient rule is to think of your product rule in this order. And then when you now take the derivative of a quotient, just replace the sum by minus, okay, by difference. And then just divide the difference by the square of the denominator. That's the reason why I told you a while ago that I prefer this order in finding the derivative of a product. Because we can easily remember this derivative of a quotient by just replacing the sum by difference. And then dividing the difference by the square of the denominator. Okay, let's have some examples. First example, so suppose we have this y here, which is a product of x cubed plus one and then two x raised to four minus five x. Then of course here we have this as our f and then the second factor is our g. So by applying derivative of a product, so take the derivative of one factor at a time. So first let's take the derivative of the first factor, multiply it with the second factor. And then just copy the first factor and multiply it with the derivative of the second factor. And the derivative of this is just equal to 3x squared plus 0. So that is just 3x squared. And the derivative of this one is just equal to 2 times 4x cubed. So that is equal to 8x cubed. And then minus 5 times the derivative of x with respect to x, it is just equal to 1. So you'll get here 8x, 8x cubed minus 5. And we're done with the calculus here. So the remaining part is only algebra. Apply FOIL method here and then you combine like terms. So you'll get here 6 plus 8 so that is 14 x raised to 6 and then negative 15 plus 3 so that is negative 12 x cubed and then minus 5. Next, uh, suppose we want to differentiate this uh, product here. And we're asked not to expand our answer. 
so that we can apply immediately power rule, it's better to write this into rational exponents. So square root of x is x raised to 1 half and 1 over x squared is just equal to x raised to negative 2. So moving this x squared to the numerator just change the sign of the power. So you'll get there x raised to negative 2. So we apply this uh, power rule here. So we take the derivative of one factor at a time. So first, let's find the derivative of this. We'll get here derivative of x raised to 1 half. So that is just bring down the power and subtract 1 from the power. And then derivative of negative 5x. So that is negative 5 times the derivative of x with respect to x. So that is 1. So that is minus 5. Derivative of a constant is equal to 0. So this is the derivative of the first factor. And we just copy the second factor. Now, we copy the first factor and then multiply it with the derivative of this second factor here. And what is the derivative of this? So, derivative of 3x raised to 5 is copy the constant. Derivative of x raised to 5 is 5x raised to 4. And then minus derivative of x raised to negative 2, bring down the power and subtract 1 from the power. So, minus minus becomes plus 2x raised to negative 3. So, therefore, this is the derivative of our function f. Next problem, suppose y is equal to the product of these uh, three factors here. So how do we find the derivative of y with respect to t? So our independent variable is now t. It's not equal to x. So here, you don't have to expand this expression before you take the derivative. Again, you can apply this uh, product rule for product of uh, three functions. So it is a sum of three products, where in each product, you only take the derivative of one factor okay, from this uh, product here. So to take the derivative of this one, first, let's write this into rational exponents. So that is t raised to 2 over 3. So the index goes to the denominator. So using now this uh, rule here. So we take the derivative of one factor at a time. So let's take the derivative of this. We'll get 10t. Okay, so 5 times 2t. And then let's just copy the two factors, remaining two factors there. And then next, let's take the derivative of the second factor. But the derivative of this second factor is just equal to 4t cubed minus 0. So that is just 4t cubed. And then just copy the other factors. And then plus, take the derivative of the third factor. So bring down the power, subtract, the, subtract 1 from the power. You'll get here t raised to negative 1 over 3. And then just copy the other two factors. So this is the derivative of y with respect to t. Now let's have examples for derivative of a quotient. So suppose we have here y, which is equal to this uh, quotient, 2x cubed minus 1 all over x squared plus 4. So when we take the derivative of both sides with respect to x, so of course we can denote that using Leibniz notation, dy over dx. Then again, we use low times the derivative of high minus high times the derivative of low over low low. We're not yet done here because we still have these uh, derivative operators. Okay, so we still have to compete for the derivative of this and to the derivative of uh, this one. So the derivative of this is just equal to 6x squared. Derivative of 1 is equal to 0. And then the derivative of this one is just 2x and then plus 0. So that is equal to 2x. So if you're asked not to simplify your answer, then you may leave your answer this way. Now, if you're asked to simplify your answer, then you have to expand this and combine like terms. So when we expand this, we'll get here 6x raised to 4. And then you have here 4 x raised to 4, and then that is minus, you'll get there 2x raised to 4. And then you have here 24x squared, and then you have here minus 2x, and then minus, you'll get plus 2x, all over the square of x squared plus 4. Next. So suppose we want to find the derivative of this one, and we don't have to simplify our answer. Then again, applying this uh, quotient rule, so we have low times the derivative of, so this is low times the derivative of the numerator, okay? Derivative of the numerator is just 10t minus 1 plus 0, so that is 10t minus 1. And then minus high times the derivative of the denominator, but our denominator here, so this one here, 
is just equal to t raised to 1 half. So to, when you take the derivative of that one, you bring down the power, and then you subtract 1 from the power. And then plus 0, derivative of 100 is just 0, all over the square of the denominator. So this is the derivative of the function p of t. Now, do we always have to apply the quotient rule when we're differentiating a fraction? The answer is no. Okay, let me give you a very simple example. Let's look at this uh, example here. Suppose we want to find the derivative of this. So since this is a quotient, we might be tempted to apply quotient rule immediately. But actually, you can easily find the derivative and simplify your answer if you write this fraction as a difference in sum of fractions, like writing this one as 4x cubed over x squared, so that is equal to 4x, and then minus 7x over x squared, that is 7 over x, which is 7x raised to negative 1, and then plus 5 over x squared, so that is equal to 5x raised to negative 2. And we can easily differentiate this difference and sum. So the derivative of the first factor is just 4 times 1, so that is 4. Derivative of this, you bring down the power, so that is minus 7 times negative 1, that is plus 7. And then x raised to reduce the power by 1, so that is minus 2. And then here again, this is 5 times, you bring down the power, so that is negative 2 x raised to negative 3, which is equal to minus 10 x raised to negative 3. And simplifying our answer, making the powers of x positive, just move this to the denominator and also this one to the denominator. And this is already our answer. So if you can avoid using derivative of a quotient because that is the most complicated formula that we have for derivative, then that would be better. Lastly, here are some problems for you to work on. So please uh, try these uh, problems out and write your answers in the comment section below.